So if someone were to want to get you know a formula like this, not not exactly, it doesn't have to be that one, but what would you tell them to look for? What what are the things that they need to look for? Because you you said to me earlier that you took arginine, just you know handfuls of it, and did nothing for you. So we don't want that to happen to someone too. Well, the thing of it is with powdered L-arginine is that you need to have it in solution. You need to have it soak for 20 to 30 minutes probably before it gets into solution. So when I'm taking all these capsules, the probability is of me getting maybe four or five percent of that arginine from those powders is probably a lot. Uh, so you have to have it in solution. The other thing you have to have, according to Dr. Ignaro, and I believe Dr. Ignaro, with 30 years of research and getting the Nobel Prize for medicine, probably is an authority. Yeah. Okay. And what he says. And if is he's that, not, then if he's not. Then stop watching it. this video right That's now. Right. <laughs> so what he says basically is you got to have L-citrulline with it. L-citrulline, when the endothelium sees it or the blood sees it, it creates L-arginine. L-arginine creates more nitric oxide. So what he wants to have is an elongated production mm. of nitric oxide. Right. And so the antioxidants slow down the oxidation process when you're manufacturing nitric oxide, so that makes it more effective. So you have this prolonged manufacturing of nitric oxide. Hmm. Having uh, a large amount or a good amount of vitamin D in the formula, as, we, uh, as we've talked at another time, where you actually will stop the calcification that's in the plaque uh, by having a large amount or of say 5,000 international units of vitamin D. And if you just study vitamin D out, you realize how badly we've missed it for so many years mm -hmm. and not getting enough vitamin D. Right now we're in the sun, we're in Southern California. It's great, but I'm virtually covered. My body's covered. Yeah, it's it's, closed. it's so cold out here. You're wearing long sleeves. <laughs> and it's winter, you know, it's winter time in California. Yeah. So the sun is very low, so I'm not able to produce a whole lot of D3 mm -hmm. from the sun as I yeah. was able to, let's say, in June. Right. Uh, and you need D, uh, vitamin D3, not D2. Not D2. Okay. If you look at the supplements that are in our foods, it's D2. Right. Uh, whether that's you know, cheaper or easier to manufacture, I'm not even, I don't know why they picked D2 when D3 is relatively inexpensive and very available. Right. So it's the combination of all of these ingredients. It's a, you can see that it's a juice and it happens because it tastes like, uh, like a noni mangosteen mm. uh, juice mm. and it's excellent. And then oftentimes... So you don't have to hold your nose when you're taking no, it. No, it's... I mean, it's definitely fruity. Yeah. Um, but what we usually do is we just follow it with some water. I had some water. <laughs> uh, so, um, now, do you, are you supposed to take it with food, without food? Is there recommended? It, you should take it before food. What you don't want to do, 20 minutes before you eat... Mm. You don't want to compete with another amino acid. Mm. Because some amino acids will block the receptor sites of L-arginine. And that's what you don't want to do. 